Welcome to another Zoom tutorial. Today, we are looking at the waiting room feature of the Zoom app. A beautiful feature if you would like to have a total control over who is able to join your meeting. If you are an educator and you teach your lessons online, you might be caring about the privacy of the sessions you're having, then this feature is right for you. First thing we need to do is just to make sure that waiting feature is enabled for our meetings. To do that, go to Zoom website, log in into your profile and go to settings. From here, scroll down to waiting room. Waiting room feature is located under in meeting advanced. Scroll a little bit down until you see waiting room. Make sure you turn it on. Now let's go and try to schedule our meeting. Enter the name, topic as usual, time. Scroll down until you see meeting options. Make sure that enable meeting room function is on. Let's click save. Now, once you've done that, let's start the meeting. I'm now starting my meeting and waiting for the participants to join. I'm going to be using these two iPads to demonstrate what the waiting room looks like from the attendee experience. And I'm going to be using my main screen to demonstrate what the waiting room looks like from the host perspective. This is user one. Once I've put in the meeting ID, I'm going to click join. You've noticed that Zoom in did not let me join the meeting. It says, please wait, the meeting host will let you soon. And this is what it looks like from the host point of view. If I go to manage participants, Zoom will tell me that there is one person in the waiting room. This is user one. Now, before we let user one in, let's join with another iPad, user two. I'm going to click join on the user two. And again, instead of letting me in right away, Zoom tells me that I need to wait before the host of the meeting lets me in. Notice how as a host, I can see that there are two people waiting to be admitted into my meeting room. Whereas from the attendees points of view, I cannot see how many people are waiting to be approved. Why don't we go ahead and click admit for user one. So user one has now joined the meeting. Now let's try something for user two. Instead of admitting user two, we're going to remove from our Zoom meeting. Zoom will warn me that once I remove user two, he will no longer be able to join the meeting. Now let's see what it looks like from the attendee perspective. This is user two and he has been removed from the waiting room. So if I try and join the meeting one more time with the same ID, then Zoom will tell me that I cannot join this meeting because I have been removed before. Let's see what happens if I change my name from user two to user three. Changing the username will not help me get into the waiting room. Apparently Zoom remembers IP address, the internet address. I don't know how it works, but even changing your name will not let you into the waiting room one more time. Before you go, there's just one more feature that I would like to demonstrate to you that will enable you to customize your waiting room. From the place where we turn the waiting room on and off, you can click on the pencil icon to customize the title and the logo. This line here will be viewable to your participants while they're waiting in the waiting room to customize it. Click on this little pencil. Logo will also be viewable to your participants, but from my experience, it's really tiny and it's really not worth editing. Waiting room feature can be enabled by your administrator if you're using school Zoom account or company Zoom account. So reach out to your Zoom administrator to clarify whether this feature is on by default or not. Well, thank you for taking the time to check out this tutorial. Today we've learned how to enable and use waiting room feature in Zoom. If you have any questions at all about this feature, leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to get back to you within 24 hours. Apart from that, take care and I'll see you next time.